gente. Uh, well, I have been hearing a lot of interesting stuff, including uh, Lucasfilm and Clone Wars. That's. Yes. Uh, I'm a big fan of Clone Wars, so I'm actually right now uh, trying to get a costume, a full cosplay of Obi Wan from the Clone Wars. So. Uh, whoever did the design for that character has made my life hell, but entertaining nonetheless. <laughs> so, uh, what's what's your first question, uh, uh, Pablito? Well, my first question, uh, just to take it out of the uh, let's let's go with uh, something more on the industry level. Uh, how hard it is uh, to get into Sí. Eh, ¿Qué tan difícil es entrar en la industria de la animación? Mm. Sí, la cosa... Sí es difícil, pero la cosa es que tratando de seguir para adelante y, y persistir. Right? Persistence is the key. Um, that and also trying to find your voice, which, again, it always sounds easy, but the reality is, is that when that opportunity shows up, it, you know, um, you should be trying to find a way to say who you are, you know, um, the, the tendency is people talk about their portfolios and, and putting their stuff and work together and going, well, what are they looking for? The thing is they're looking for who you are. And what that means is that inner voice, right? The, the filmmaker, the storyteller. And if they don't get it the first time, the second time, um, just be patient and continue with that persistence because it is hard, but at the same time, you're always learning and you're always growing and there's always going to be resistance. So just because you get in doesn't mean that that stops. You are still trying to push yourself. And as Paul you know, was saying, you gotta, you do have to kind of pay your dues a little bit. And I'm still doing that. Even at this level, I'm still having to push myself and prove certain things I can do, even though I already have all this body of work. So um, it is hard, but at the same time, it's just, if this is what you want to do, at some point, you're going to get in. That's actually really control, uh, constructive. So, no, thank you. Uh, well, next question. In Spider-Man, I have seen you have worked on other Spider-Man projects, right? What's your favorite Spider-Man villain? My uh, favorite villain? Yep. Okay. Uh, wow, that's a, that's a good one. I, I, w I would say the one that's hitting really hard which happens to be that I worked on is, is Spock. He is, uh, <laughs> he's going to really just kind of take it to a whole new level of what um, being a villain is, which I'm very excited about. So I would say he's my favorite. He's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, he's incredible. And yeah. he's one of the characters that have been used less, let's just yes. say. He was on the animated series from the 90s and everything, but he haven't have that much screen time and that much presence and seeing him on the movie was really great uh next question uh peter p parker having his uh, happy family you know uh, that's something that fans wanted since uh joe quesada basically killed the spider-man family on one more day and it's something that the fans really have wanted and we finally see him having this wonderful family now uh how was that and uh, what did you think about going on with that storyline? Um, I thought it was a great, a, a great um, kind of reinforcement of, you know, against a, a complimentary about his character. You know, in, in the movie, he talks about was one of the reasons why he had a family is because of Miles. So it really helps to show there is more gray than black and white, you know, and having him do, you know, having a family it shows the evolution, right? In the beginning, in the first one, he doesn't want to do it, have anything to do with it. But at this point now, he has a kid and now sees it a whole other perspective. So it gives us a place, again, um, with any kind of thing in story, is where we can take the character. So it's it's a great it's a great addition um, to this um, saga. Okay, guys. Oh, uh, about uh, the sequencing, at least in this part, it was really, really moving especially with all that has happened with her dad and everything. So the weight was real on the scene. Um, the motion in the face, the motion, even in the, in the storyboard, you can feel the intensity. So how do you transmit that? How do you get uh, that uh, 
in most of the scenes in basically in this movie in every single scene? That's a great question. Um, la cosa para hacer estos uh, momentos es de repetir right? la práctica, porque no, a veces la primera vez dibujando puede hacerlo, pero a veces necesita hacerlo otra otra vez y otra vez hasta que hay un momento que lo sientes. You know, it's it's one of those things where it just you need to feel it. So storyboarding in general is repetition, right? It's basically trying different iterations of touching that moment emotionally. And it just takes, a, it takes some time. So it's, it's never to me, sometimes I'll hit, you know, a scene or a shot that feels like I hit it the first time, but sometimes it, I, and I also will show it, you know, it's about collaboration. So a lot of times I'll show the shot and get, you know, my, uh, just from an, another um, perspective of like, is this hitting that emotion that I'm looking for? And sometimes it does. And sometimes it doesn't, but it's really trying to get the best version of that. And it worked perfectly. Uh, even later, when you have that moral dilemma between being a father or being the cop, and he That's just right. decides to be the, the father. And the setup on this scene is what makes it really great because you feel that weight. And so, yeah, I love, I love what you make. Uh, I just want to say thank you for respecting uh, Spider-Man, the Spider-Man lore on the movie. Uh, as a fan, I really think that is important. And that's why the fans are reacting this way. That's why the fans are cooking up to the movie. Because, let's just say it, uh, respecting the hero is part of respecting uh, the culture that is around it. And... Spider-Man is global. Spider-Man is everywhere. Um, people everywhere are reacting to a good Spider-Man movie. So that's it. I just want to say thank you and great work. Oh, thank you, guys. This is amazing.